Hello everybody and welcome back to another Warhorn walkthrough. Today we are going to be tackling the second crystal light puzzle. Uh, as you can see there are a lot of different parts to it. Uh, so we are just going to go down to the bottom there on the far side and start with that one over there. It's very similar to the previous walkthroughs puzzle. Um, except that things are a tad more complex. There's a little bit more uh, light swapping, etc. that goes on in this one. That can be fairly confusing. So we are going to start with this one. And we actually don't have a puzzle cube for this one. In this puzzle you move the mirrors to direct light where you would like it to go. So straight off the bat you see that you can hit the yellow crystal with this mirror. I think it might be easier if I just get up in a tower after I'm done. Um, so that you can set it up yourself. It's a little bit difficult to explain. Okay. Alright, so let me try getting somewhere high to show you this. I have the blue light bouncing off of three mirrors to be able to reach the crystal. I have the red light bouncing off of two mirrors. You just have to be a little bit patient with getting this to line up with the red crystal instead of hitting the yellow light source and the yellow light source was pretty easy just bounced right back off that mirror into the yellow crystal so that is the first part and you'll know you have it right when these little uh, beacons at the top of the doorway light up otherwise they are completely dark like the one up here so we're gonna go ahead and give this one a shot This one does have the light box that you can use, so that'll come in handy. This is one of the more complex uh, parts of the puzzle. So let's trigger, where's the light switch? Here we go, let's trigger this. All right. So we're gonna take the box. I was hoping the mirror would pick that up. I'll go first person. There we go. Uh, with the mirrors, you can not only change the direction of the light, but you can change the height or the angle of the light as well. Interesting, to say the least. There we go. That is that puzzle. I will go up in the tower and I will show you how I have it set up. It's perfect timing. It's just about to be night time. So, there you go. So the next puzzle we're going to work on is going to be directly behind us. Please don't let me die. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and turn the light on like so. And let's see what is the aim here. Go hit this. And then hit 
that. There we go, as you can see it goes straight through. This one was very straightforward. So that is what this looks like. Did not even have to use two of the mirrors. Now we're gonna move on to this puzzle, or this part of the puzzle I should say. Ah, I remember this. Okay. Let's turn it on. Uh, this is all strictly with mirrors, so no puzzle box in this one to complicate things. There we go. Now we have that one right. Now we just need to... Oh. We had it. There we go. Okay. That is that. And let's see. It's dark, so it's kind of hard to show you. Oh no. But this is how this puzzle is set up. I have the red light source just taking almost a 90 degree angle there. Um, I have the green light source bouncing back off the mirror. And then I have yellow light source bouncing off the mirror in front of it, then the mirror next to it, through the converter to the mirror on the other side and up to the blue. So we did not have to use both converters, although I think that's what the intention is. Uh, so anyway, as you can see, our lights are lit, so we did do that correctly. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and run up top to the last part of the puzzle, I believe. Okay, this is the last of the light puzzles before we reach the top. So this one is uh, just mirrors, I believe. No need four light boxes for this one. So let's do this. And there it is. Fairly simple. So now we can run up top and collect our prize. So, as we can see, we lit all the lights up, and now have access to this little room. There are a few potions in here, um, magic chest is in here as well, some magic pants, uh, some heavy metal shoes, always handy, and if we climb to the top of the tower, we find a scroll that reads, a clue. I am a little surprised because I didn't know what to expect. So much work for just one sheet of paper. On the other hand, there is a chest, but it's old. I cannot open it. Which is kind of funny because we can. And we get the red helmet, which I'm going to go ahead and put on. So now I have full red armor. And we get our weird note. So that was the final puzzle walkthrough for the Warhorn storyline. The next part of the story is another dungeon, um, and we will find out how exactly we're supposed to find the Warhorn. So I trust that helps. I hope you enjoyed that, and I will see you in the next one.